guys, welcome back to my channel. If I'm speaking a little bit low, it's because I've just had a really exciting experience for the last half an hour in this field behind me. There were deer and I managed to crouch down, just down here and shoot it through this fence. I'm not sure whether I, what kind of image I've got, but I had to shoot a high ISO to get the shutter speed I needed, but I'm really hoping some of them come out because that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. You've got to be so still, so quiet. They hear everything. But even if I didn't get a photo, that experience, <laughs> that experience is, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's all about the experience. I know it was a good one. Ooh. They're still around, but I don't think I'll get any more shots I can hear them. But if I go quietly, we never know. Whew, let's just stand for a minute, listen to this. Hmm. Dawn chorus. <laughs> and on my way up here today, the sunrise, although it's actually not actually up because there's a lot of haze, the pinks in the sky was just absolutely incredible. There's something to be said for getting out early. <laughs> anyway, I'll go and set up and look for some compositions with some nice, lovely wild garlic for you guys, as promised from my last video. So, just wondering, I was going to add something to the last vlog, but I absolutely, completely forgot. And uh, it's a thought I had about pictures, and it'd be interesting to know your thoughts in the comments. That it's a question I pose to all of you, really. It goes on the lines of this that are you here to take photos for yourself or? Are you here to take photos for other people? Now, I've questioned my motive on this, and I don't think either answer is wrong, but it'd just be interested to know all you other photographers out there, you know, whether you're professional, semi professional, or amateur, you know, the motivation behind your shots and who are they really for? Oh my. Oh. something going on in the trees but oh what I wanted to come in show you and photograph I think we're gonna be in for a real treat today oh we've come on the right morning I'm just gonna swing you around so you can just see look at that a sea of white and it smells amazing so I'm gonna get myself busy, get down in there, find a few compositions, then just wait for a bit of light. It's starting to come through the canopy above, but uh, I still think we've got about half an hour before we start shooting, but I'm excited about this. Still buzzed even more about the deer, but let's concentrate on what I'm trying to do now. <laughs>
this is the composition I've chosen for my second shot. Um, it'll be a little bit tighter than what you can see on the GoPro right now, but I'm the main thing I'm trying to do is try and get some separation between between the garlic on the top of that dead trunk, which is proven really difficult. As you could see, I tried a few different angles, but I think this is the only one which is going to really lend to what I want. I might, I'll probably go with a shallow depth of field so that'll try and isolate it and blur the background is probably going to work. So I'm going to have the, uh, the tree trunk coming in from the left hand side and then those bits of garlic which are popping up out the trunk as the main feature of it. It's still dark in here but I might be able to uh, a little bit of dodge and burning in post just to enhance those. It's a shame that they're not out fully but uh, you get the idea. I've decided to change my angle just slightly. I prefer the uh, the trunk going diagonally across the image rather than straight across it. I think it looks a lot better. Also, as you can see, I've come lower down for this shot. I think it is working. I took a couple of test shots at different apertures, but at the moment I'm thinking that uh, the aperture I've got is f3.5, works really, really well. So I have managed to separate it from the background and uh, it looks really good on image. So I'm just going to take a couple more shots just to make sure. And uh, I hope you like the final image. good news to report I've just sat down had my coffee and I went through my photos from earlier on uh, from my encounter with the deer and it looks like I've got a couple of bangers in there there's one I really really love it's where the deer is looking actually looking at me and around his feet are cow slips which there's thousands in that field and they're all blurred out and it looks absolutely stunning I just hope hope that it will crop in okay but I'm excited for you to see if it uh, if it does and while we're at it there's I can give you a little tip and what I do to make sure my image is sharp is on the back viewfinder of the LCD screen on my Nikon D800 I have to press it seven times and that gets me to the equivalent of what my computer screen is as a hundred percent so if you want to work out how to do this, you need to bring up the raw file and have the card in your camera and zoom in on your raw file on the computer to 100% and do the same on your camera and just count the clicks and that will give you a really, really good idea of where 100% is on your LCD screen. So try it out, it works really well. So what I'm looking for now, I've got some nice intimate shots of garlic. I'd like to try and get you guys a picture of, might not be compositionally great, but just to show the array of it, not just a small amount, but a large amount of it. So I'm going to have a hunt about and see what I can come up with. And uh, when I get something, I'll uh, turn you guys back on.
right, finally set up for my last shot of the day. It's not going to be a portfolio type image. It's just the uh, just what I wanted to show you. You know the depth of the garlic and just a just a nice sea of white really. Um, what I've had to do with this image is I'm gonna uh, I've took three shots. I'm just going to take the last shot now because I'm going to have to blend it. Uh, it's dark in here. I'm on f11 and what am I on? Back to one fifth of a second. Um, ISO 160. So I'm going to take this image and I'll put it all together for you in post and then we'll see what it looks like. So I'll just take the final image now. Manual focus. <laughs> Well, guys, it's come to that time of the vlog again where I've got to say goodbye. I've had an absolutely incredible morning. I really enjoyed myself. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog as well. And I hope you enjoyed all the images because you'll see them before I do. And just one more thing. If you love wildlife, you really need to check out Morton Hilmer's channel on YouTube. I now have a small understanding of the excitement that he has when he's out shooting wildlife because I had a bit of it this morning and that was just it was incredible really incredible anyway time for me to say goodbye give me a thumbs up smash the like button hit the notification bell and please subscribe or consider to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content anyway take care keep safe in these times and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.